Okay, hi, Corky Coker here. Last weekend, we had the first, what we call the Chattanooga Cruise Inn. It wasn't our first cruise in, but it was the first Chattanooga Cruise Inn at Honest Charlie Speed Shop and Coker Tire Company, downtown Chattanooga. Had 750 cars. Well, my buddy Larry Ashford from McMinnville, Tennessee, came up to me at the, at the cruise inn and said, Corky, I got a barn find for you. So I want you guys to know that all this barn find stuff that we find is real. They ain't nothing planted. We're riding in our brand new rollback, brand new to Honest Charlie Garage, uh, because maybe you remember when we picked that Birdie Carroll shoebox Ford, my rollback was probably didn't run much better than that shoebox Ford had been sitting there for about 40 years. Anyway, so we're riding in our rollback, going to pick this beautiful original 1955 F100, supposedly with original paint. Larry says, come on. So uh, we're headed to McMinnville, Tennessee. Now McMinnville, Tennessee is uh, supposedly the nursery capital of the world. They say we're always in bloom at McMinnville, Tennessee. And there's uh, this really cool um, old historic home that is considered the Biltmore of Tennessee. It's called Falcon Rest. Really cool things going on in McMinnville, Tennessee. So we're on our way over there to get a real cool original barn find. up in here and uh, check this out. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool old barn. These are guys that uh, must must own this thing. Is yeah. that the people, yeah. guys, you were telling me about? Right. Yeah. They, so why fun. why are they uh, why they decide to sell this truck? Well, it's one of those things. I reckon that uh, they had sold this place, and of course the the fellow that it was left to was getting on up in years, and of course you know he didn't have the means or ability to. To go ahead and restore it, do anything yeah. to it. So, you know, that's my understanding. You know, so, they're yeah. selling the farm and got to get this truck out of here. Right, yeah. Well, introduce me to these guys. Okay. Here. Jim Watermaker. Is... Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm Corky. Good to meet you, Corky. Nice this, to meet you. This is Johnny Watermaker. Hey, John. And this is Gary Campbell. Hey, Gary. How are you? Good to see you guys. So, Larry says this was somebody's grandfather's truck. Who's, who's, Mine. Is, is your grandfather's truck? So, and it's an original 1955 right. F100. Yep. And it's bought, tell me where, was it bought right here in Mac, uh, McMimble? Bought in Mac bought Granddaddy Mac bought it Mac Mimble. He did. Wow. So, and you, uh, what, what do you know about this old truck? Well, his grandpa, I mean, his name was Mr. Jill Morley, and we was next door neighbor. And he was a farmer, that's all he ever done. He cut timber. But he didn't have a vehicle. He used mules to do the farming and uh, and to uh, to harvest his crops. He right. used mules. He yep. hauled his corn. He hauled his hay. But uh, he hadn't he hadn't drove any since the T model days. That's probably oh, back in the thirties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, he come by our house one morning walking on a Saturday morning, and uh, we said, "Well, I wonder where Mr. Jim's going." Well, he went on by the house, down the lane, we called it, to the main highway. Nobody thought more about it. So we caught him a ride to Mac Memo, which was 13 miles down the road. He hitchhiked a ride <laughs> yeah. to town to buy him a truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he hitchhiked him a ride to Puckett Motors. Puckett Motors was Puckett the name Motors. of it. How long has it been Motors? gone? 25 years ago. Yeah. It's now has Wilmore. It been gone a long time? Now Wilmore Ford. But anyway, uh, Sometime about dinner time or lunch time, uh, we seen a pickup truck coming up the lane. All of us out in the yard said, wonder whose truck that is. Brand new and shine like everything. So we got on up to the house and we said, well, that's Mr. Jim driving a new pickup truck. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah. And and I'd say back, back in 1955, ain't too many people drove a brand new truck or car uh -uh. at all, was very, it? Not very back few. in. Yeah. Very few. Yeah. Well, Mr. Jim went on by. He didn't even look around because he, he didn't want to turn that steering wheel loose. Yeah. 
He got up to his house. The driveway turned in real sharp, rock wall around his yard there. He stopped in the road, gravel road, and he put her in low gear. Floored that thing. <laughs> he throwed gravels all over the country going in the driveway. Threw a little bit of rocks, huh, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> he told him How about that? Got up there and he had an old garage there he used to keep his old car in. Yeah. But he started to put his truck in and he seen the door top was too low. He was going to hit the cab of his truck. Wouldn't fit. He left it out that weekend, rest of that weekend. Monday morning he was up there with a pick, scrubbing hole and a pick and shovel, and shoved him out two trenches about deep enough just where the axle would clear it. And that lowered his truck to where he could use his cross. How about that? And Instead he, of raising the garage, he lowered the he lowered ground. The track. Yeah. Lowered the ground so and put trenches in so his truck would fit in the garage. Right, and that's yeah. where he kept it all the time. That sounds like the honest Charlie way is to that's work right. something out. That's, that's right. the way we do it at your place, I guess, well, that's too. That's what we try our best to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> work it out the best way you can make it work. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember your granddad driving this truck? Did you drive it to church and just yeah. drove it in, to the hardware store and anywhere yeah. he needed to go? He didn't go much. Didn't it, much. <clears throat> it went to Nashville one time. Did he? Yeah. He drove yeah. about every two weeks. He'd take eggs off every Friday morning. And and sell church. eggs? He'd go to church on Sunday morning, then he'd, about every two weeks on Friday morning, take the eggs off and sell them to make you know, you know, Johnny, my, my grandfather had a Sunday pair of overalls. Yeah. Now Larry's wore his weekday overalls today, but yeah. I bet I bet I bet Mr. Jim would wear a Sunday pair of overalls, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 That's what he that's wore. What he wore. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yep. Well, I can't wait to take a look at this truck. So you guys want to show me this uh, 55 F100 that Mr. Jim bought new? I'd sure like. I'm anxious to see this old Got truck. Well, yep. there. We'll open the doors. And yep. show it. Here we yeah. go. I, let's let's check it out. Brand new, no, it's in a the barn. it's a barn fresh 1955 F100 with the original paint on it. So let's check it out. Come on, come on, Gary. Yeah. Hey, Larry, there's there's uh, there's Greg coming in with a rollback right oh, now. Yeah. He did come on, Greg. Way. Wait for me. This is the best part. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at there. Yeah. Look at this. Really Look at this. Not drag it out, eh? My goodness. Let's right. see your shovel, Larry. Right there. This has the right look to it, boss. Hey, this is a nice barn find right here. Original paint, patina still on it. They, they ain't been no chickens roosting on it either. Looks like a cat or two might have climbed the front windshield, but uh, I believe that'll wash off. What do you think, Larry? Hey, I believe it's a nugget. Hey, Larry. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. We've got so many folks out there and around that uh, know that we're doing this Barn Fine TV show, and we just appreciate you so much turning us on to this deal, and I want you to know that, I, that you know, I've got friends all over the country like Larry that will call us email us etc about barn finds that we want you to know this is real this is a real, that's real my money. real friend car guy here that's turned us on to real country boy friends here that this is a real 55 f100 that i just now first uh, saw and i'm about to check it out a little more so uh, and if i could i'd like to give credit to the guy that called me about it uh avery hill he r runs a little shop over here been a friend of mine for several years and uh, as far as uh he uh was talking to somebody, I guess it was Johnny or somebody about the about the vehicle, you know, and he said, well, he told them about me to know whether I might be interested in it. And, of course, I've been fooling with them quite a few years myself, and uh, kind of like you, sometimes they'll find you, you know, once oh, yeah. people know that you are yeah. fooling with them. So. so don't forget that. Avery Hill. Call us. If you know something, if your uncle's got something, your granddaddy's got something sitting in a barn, holler at us because we'll be there <laughs> right quick. So... Uh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> this thing's really solid. You know? By the way, I think I've got a key to this truck, too, somewhere here. Really? 
They give it to me before I forget it. Well, I haven't really taken the time to inspect it real close, but at first glance, this is a heck of a find. Hey, Larry. You know? Good this job. Cool. This so, is, yeah, if it wasn't like that I told you, you didn't yeah. have to take it. No, sir. Right absolutely. Here. You know, I, I we kind of did uh, uh, a little deal sight unseen right. at right. that cruise in, right. but it's it's I'm tickled to death. And, and of course, if it, and there again, you know, like I say, if it if I wasn't so overwhelmed and had too many projects, I'd yeah. take it on myself. But yeah. like I say, I know it's uh, got a good home. Yeah. Well, you know, this is the way I love them. You know, original paint. You know, you got some rust chilling through, etc. But this is just perfect, and yeah. you know I can't thank you enough. I'm looking forward to snaking this little puppy out of here and getting it back to Honest Charlie Garage, and we'll uh, uh, we'll get her running. I think Fireball makes short work of this, don't you? Yeah, he, he can knock this, get this thing running within a day or two. Well, I'd say so. It's going to take us that long just to empty the bed. Yeah, you know? that's right. so we, we need we need to keep in mind we're hauling off some junk. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, let, what's what's the interior look like on this thing, guys? Uh, I don't like the outside. I think we got a sleeping bag. Nash, Nash is, uh, is really nice. Good. Well, it's actually in better shape than the outside, Corky. I see a lot more paint, which is to be expected. Uh, but there's not too much that needs to be restored. Only you know a little bit of cardboard on the top and the the seats ripped. Well, look at this. It smells bag. like a rat's been living in here for a while. Yeah, that's the way I like to smell them. Yeah. That's way a headliner's kind of wore out. Cart kind of the cardboard bo uh, board uh, headliner, etc. But all the glass is good. This will clean up right here. Um, this is just perfect. Radio delete. It's a farm truck right here. Now this is a six-cylinder car, isn't it? Six-cylinder truck. Yeah, yeah. This would be inline six. Inline six. We, we got some speed parts for that already. Uh, absolutely, we can make that go. This is this is Honest Charlie Garage truck number two. HC2. We're, we're not HC starting to these things, are we? Yeah. Is this yeah. a trend? Yeah, it's a trend. Absolutely a trend. We, I, I like it, too. Cool. Good work, man. Yep. Yep. Good, Good job. Old steering is not real bad loose. You know what I'm saying? That's for showing, it's showing 87,382 miles. How about that? How about that? 87,300 miles. That's a barn find if I've ever heard one. You know what? What to do is just oil this sucker up yeah. and paint the paint, Honest Charlie yeah. Garage on it, just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, th this thing's got a cool look. Though. Yeah. Enough paint to know it's green. Yep. yep. Enough rust, but not to where it rusts through. Yep. This thing doesn't need to be restored. It's yeah. a good start to it's to a vintage start. truck. We lost one. Yep. The engine in this truck supposedly had been rebuilt uh, by guy here that uh, one of the local neighbors it was noted as a good mechanic Willard Woodley right. know, several years ago okay and when they backed this truck in supposedly the only thing was wrong with it it wouldn't charge and it had a regulator down on it and of course uh -huh. at the time he had another truck ready available that he started driving and didn't didn't so proceed he just left it in yeah that happens I wonder if it would turn over that happened so many times I bet it would I'd say man put wire. gas in it and yeah. coil wire on it and yeah and uh, prime it you know prime it and He's probably far. Well, Larry, let's see if that, it's a bad record of yours to pull this sucker out in the sunshine. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, that's a little better than that. Yeah, yeah, I guess we might ought to. I need some, need some slack. Yeah, I need some slack. Okay. I'll have to roll backwards a little bit. Boys, I'm, I thought I brought a good chain, but I brought one that only had a hook on one end. Well, Larry, I've got a solution for that. We can use your crane right here. We ought <laughs> yeah. to do that. If it's well, if you want to, we will. Yeah. You want? You ready yeah. to do that? Well, we'll just do that then. We'll just use yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> he, they done change it. They mine here, Tom. <laughs> Y'all do realize this is not uh, this is not electric. This is manual, don't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> What, I don't even know what this is. Larry, tell us yes. about your truck here. All right, this is a 52 Ford, three quarter ton, uh, known as a F2. It uh, started out as an old truck store that I got on it. It was actually used at a Ford dealership in the 50s. And they used this thing for a service truck. Of course, they retired it and uh, it passed through some other hands. The last people that uh, had it in operation Brought a King's Grocery and Garage somewhere around close to Hartsville, Alabama. And I've got documentation of where they're still doing record calls in 83, 82 and 83. And it's a manly boom. It's a three ton manly boom. Three ton. What would you reckon the gear ratio would be here? Do you have a clue? Mm, I'd say, uh, what? Three, four, five to <laughs> one. one. Yeah, something like that. It's, 
Larry, I'll this way. I've, I've lifted up the F6 with it before. Really? I don't F6 at an archer shop. Larry's son, was, Thomas, was telling us that he still uses this thing, and we thought, prove it. <laughs> prove it. Now, here, here's his chance. Well, we, we had thought about putting a electric winch on it, but then that'd take away from the authenticity of yeah, the, you I, know, having, I think it's cool. I I'm going to cool. move this for just a minute in case that, that barn door right there, I, might, I have a problem with the hanging on it. We may have to open that barn door up a little more. Up again, it yeah, you're underneath it. All right, we'll get her, get her hooks here, hook her off. This is a shot. This is a good shot. You know, that old piece of cardboard they had there, yeah. You see it, yep. where I can yep. throw it down here where yep. I'm gonna have to get water in the pig mud, yeah. I mean, it's a shame to bring a good piece of cardboard along and not use it, you know. Where are you going to put it? Just down there where I can lay down underneath oh, that yeah. there. I wouldn't wait to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for one of them little slithery creatures every time I've looked at this thing. Hopefully we're going to make it out of here without it. It has been known to be some pretty good sized rattlesnakes and copperheads up this area. Yeah, that'd, yeah. Uh, that'd be a, a little bit of a surprise if we wouldn't, wasn't counting on today, eh? Wouldn't I heard that. What do you give extra for a snake, Corky? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, you want to get your size? Oh, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. He's tying off the uh, the string to the the steering column so we can tie the door shut. This thing ain't latching yet. I need a Boy Scout. I'm gonna tie the square knot because it's the only knot I know. Double bow tie. Right there.
<laughs> well, I'll put it this way. I had to pass them up. I had to, I went on ahead and got eggs. Oh, I got you. Need to have a little protein. Them, them wheaties, them wheaties don't do much for me. They won't last them long enough. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Man, we do. You know, it was in its day. It was a thing to have, I reckon. It was a thing to have, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you turn it over? Yeah. It ain't stuck. Yes. Yeah, sounds like there's good compression too. <laughs> Wait a minute, it almost started. Feed me a little bit more line here, Corey. Yank on it, I got you. Uh, this, this old truck, a friend of mine at the um, name of Avery Hill that runs a little shop up here in the valley in the uh, Irving College area, he, uh, he had called me about this truck and uh, anyway told me about it and gave me the guy's uh, name at, uh, that had the truck and told me about it. He used to live close to the people that had it. And anyway, uh, so I checked into it. I know that I had more than I needed to fool with at the time, but I'm still always game to go look and see if it is something I really want. But uh, anyway, uh, I went and looked at the truck and I seen, seen what the truck was and made the people an offer on it. And uh, of course, uh, we didn't get together that day. We got together on it at a later date. But uh, in the meantime, I was over to cruise in that they had it Corky's Saturday and uh, I was telling him about it. And so Corky wanted to come maybe even just film it. And uh, then I told him, I said, well, you know, I really have got more projects than I need right now. You know, I'd be willing to turn it over to, to him and let him take over with it. So anyway, that's kind of how it ended up. Uh, we've had fun fooling with it, and uh, as far as it's loaded up, and I guess it's found a good home in Chattanooga now, and uh, it'll be took care of over at Corky's and Honest Charlie Garage. Go ahead, Greg. You want to? Uh, yeah, I'll sit in the red. <laughs> ah. Rat and the horse hair up the butt. The horse hair, yeah. horse hair in the butt. Uh, so, so we gonna. Um, so we look like we got got HC2 here. HC that must stand for Honest Corky Dose. No, Honest Charlie Number Two. Honest Charlie One is a white truck. I think this. I can see. I can see Honest Char Honest Charlie, and. 
some kind of color scheme that fits this truck. Well, Howard's at the shop right now, actually, Strop International. Well, so let's we, go we do it. Talk to him about it. Let's go do it. Uh, so, another barn find. Come back to Corkyville. Son-in-law and barn find kid strikes again. And if you don't think this is real, look in here at this rat poop. <laughs> not him. If you were smelling what I'm smelling. Not him. <laughs> Push it in there.